The King of Brunei is one of the wealthiest royals in the world, and he has made judicious use of his money by building the largest car collection in the world. When it comes to loving and collecting cars, there is only one clear winner. Even the most committed car collectors like Jay Leno and Chris Evans have to concede and give this collector the title of biggest car collector in the world. In the face of his insane car collection, it is clear in everyone's mind that it's more than a hobby. While the exact number of cars in this impressive collection is not known, Experts estimate the cars to be somewhere between 3,000 and 6,000 luxury and vintage cars. With the King of Brunei pulling in an estimated net worth of about $20 billion, one of the richest royals is spending his money on one of his greatest loves, his cars. With a great deal of his net worth funneling his car fetish, his collection was estimated to be around $5 billion according to Forbes. The Sultan's love for cars is so well known that some luxury car makers like Mercedes have created several one-of-a-kind cars for the King of Brunei. This means there are certain cars in the King's collection that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Brunei is located in South Asia, and it's a small country that shares its border with Malaysia. The small nation of Brunei is one of the oil-producing nations in the world, and it generates its revenue from oil exportation. The nation has generated $60,000 GDP per capita, which means that its citizens can live comfortably. With the country's strict immigration laws, the country can keep a check on the inflow of immigration and ensure that the available resources can go around. With the amount of money the King of Brunei spends on cars, it is quite clear that the country is quite a float indeed. It was thought that Hassan al Bolkiah, the Sultan of Brunei, is solely responsible for keeping Rolls-Royce afloat during the hard times. Among his 7,000 cars, at least 600 of those are Rolls-Royces, 450 are varying types of Ferrari, and 380 or more are Bentleys. Wow, this impressive car collection should be shared with the world. But the Sultan is so private that it's only the close friends of the king that have a chance to take a sneak peek at his collection. So many of the especially commissioned vehicles that grace the king's collection are appreciated only by the king and his equally car-mad younger brother, Prince Jeffrey. The cars commissioned to the Sultan are often done in secret, and they only come out if a photographer manages to snap a shot of the car being loaded onto a cargo plane headed for Brunei. To know all the vehicles that grace the Sultan's undoubtedly large garage is to get a book and dedicate hours pouring through them. However, even among the special and unique cars, some of them catch the eye and intrigue the mind more than others. Some of the most impressive and vintage vehicles that grace the Sultan's warehouse are vehicles whose names aren't even known because they were never officially commissioned by the luxurious car manufacturing company. Here are nine very impressive cars that the King owns. A Brabus G700. It can certainly get boring if you have to choose from thousands and thousands of perfect choices. You might think that way, but the Sultan begs to differ. On several occasions, photographs have caught the Sultan behind the wheels of his black Brabus G700. By choosing to drive this car more than once out of hundreds of vehicles in his fleet, it's safe to assume that it's one of his favorite vehicles. The Brabus G700 is indeed an incredible vehicle that can take on just about every terrain. It's certainly not lacking in the power department, either. The vehicle comes with a 4-litre V8 engine that produces a whopping 700 horsepower. A Ferrari F40. There are only a handful of people in the entire world who have a Ferrari F40 in their garage, so it does make sense that the Sultan makes it onto this very short list. Ferrari produced about 1,300 models of the F40 as a successor to the 288 GTO in conjunction with the manufacturer's 40th celebration. When the company debuted the car to the public, it placed a price tag of $400,000. However, the car became so popular that many people paid millions of dollars to own one. What makes the Sultan's F40 different from the shortlist is that it's the only right-hand drive vehicle. In addition, the Sultan didn't stop at purchasing one unique vehicle. He purchased several F40 cars. BMW Nazca M12. The Sultan does not act like us mere mortals do, so it should be no surprise that when he purchases a BMW, he doesn't settle for the usual ones that the average Joe might purchase. BMW built the Nazca M12 as a concept, but when the Sultan laid his eyes on the car, he decided he must have one. He then summoned the car company and requested one be made for him. Who was going to tell the Sultan no? When BMW built the concept in 1991, the car had a V12 engine that was capable of producing 295 horsepower and reached a top speed of 180 miles per hour.
Lamborghini Huracan. You cannot expect the largest car collector in the world to have a commonplace model of vehicle now, do you? The Sultan has a vehicle so rare that only 791 owners have a preview of the car. While the Lamborghini Huracan is so rare that only a handful of people lay claim to it, the Sultan decided on exclusivity in his unique brand. So his Huracan comes in a different color. The car company only produced this model in Italy between 1973 and 1979. Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR. The Sultan wanted a special Mercedes and decided to go for a breathtaking concept because nothing else will simply do. He then decided that the CLK GTR would feel right at home in his garage. Mercedes originally designed the GTR for the FIA GT Championship race. With that aim in mind, the GTR boasts an impressive 6.9 V12 engine that is quite capable of producing 612 horsepower. This particular GTR is quite different and special because it's the only one in the world that offers right-hand driving. Ferrari Mythos When it comes to fantastic cars, there is no doubt that the 599 GTO and the 458 Italia should be on the list. The Sultan, however, is not going for the benign. Instead, he wanted ownership of a Ferrari that most car fans cannot get access to. The Mythos was a concept car and it's not intended for public sale. The amazing and breathtaking vehicle is capable of reaching a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Because it's the Sultan, it's not surprising to learn he purchased two of the kind. The only problem with the Mythos is its performance. The 80s model needs 6.2 seconds to go from zero to 60 miles per hour. However slow, the Mythos is still a classic. Ferrari F50 After spending 50 years building supercars, Ferrari decided to commemorate the special occasion with a special vehicle. The brainchild of the luxurious car company is the F50. The car has a 4.7-litre V12 engine that pumps out 514 horsepower. As Ferrari wanted to make the vehicle a special one, it only produced 349 units. The car only needs 3.7 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour and has a top speed of 201 miles per hour. The vehicle was released with a price tag of $480,000. But for someone who has billions of dollars at his disposal, what is a measly $480,000 for one of Ferrari's best, eh? Lamborghini Diablo Ask any Lamborghini enthusiast which car they love the most and hear the chorus of the Diablo. This car was manufactured in Italy from 1990 to 2001. The classic vehicle is one of Lamborghini's best, and the Sultan certainly thinks so. Beneath the bonnet, the Diablo boasts a 5.7-litre V12 engine that can pump out 485 horsepower. The car has a top speed of 202 miles per hour and needs just a little over 4 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Last but not least, the Jaguar XJ220. The Jaguar XJ220 was only produced for three years, but it certainly made an impression on car enthusiasts. The fact that the Sultan has one in his garage is more than enough proof. Jaguar produced only 282 units, and it comes as quite a surprise that the XJ220 has a top speed of 212 miles per hour. The V6 twin turbo engine is capable of pumping out 542 horsepower. The 220 in the name represents the manufacturer's desire to have the car reach a top speed of 220 miles per hour. The result was a car that was only 8 miles per hour shy of the dream. These are some of the amazing vehicles that could be found in the Sultan's garage. It's nice to be enthusiastic about something, and it's great if you have the funds to enjoy your hobby. The Sultan is proof of that. Which of these cars is your favorite? And if you had unlimited funds, which cars would you have in your garage? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by clicking on the like button. You should also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an upload. Goodbye, Luxcats. Until next time.